Brian Keeler here. Welcome to my nocturne, my night scene of uh, Scotland. I'm doing a, a coastal village here, uh, Pluckton. It's in the northwest of Sc uh, Scotland, near the Isle of Skye. And I started this painting when it was still uh, laid out, late in the afternoon, so I could see the uh, uh, details in the houses and uh, sort of get the composition blocked in. But now I'm just doing it from uh, memory, more or less. I can, earlier, I can still see it. But uh, I'm working completely in tones and uh, you know, blues and grays and mobs. And I've invented the clouds, uh, and uh, which I sometimes do, but based on observation from previous uh, uh, painting experiences or just looking at them. And um, one of the things that I'm conceiving of was west to the left here. So I'm thinking of it as sort of that transition time between uh, night and day when the light is still coming from the, uh, from the west. And, uh, and it actually, a sailboat actually came through there. And, uh, and then I'll uh, detail it up when I, when I get home and uh, work out some of the, uh, the nuances of the, the, the color and the, uh, and the whole scene. But I've got it basically established uh, in a nice way. And I'm working under a street light here, which is very serendipitous. Uh, there's a store over here so I can uh, see what I'm doing while I'm doing this. Uh, Nocturne. I'm not sure if uh, Van Gogh had that um, uh, privilege or that, 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 that luck when he was doing his famous uh, night scenes, but uh, here in the uh, 21st century we have uh, electric lights that can help us do nocturnes. So, uh, great. Thanks so much for your attention. Brian Keeler here, and I'm bringing these uh, uh, s uh, short lessons to you of uh, painting plein air and showing you how they finish up here in the studio. The last time you saw me, I was uh, painting a, uh, this nocturne uh, in the town of Plockton. Uh, it's um, uh, near the Isle of Skye, just like my, uh, my t-shirt here it says, the Isle of Skye, which is off the northwest coast of uh, Scotland. And uh, when you saw me before, hopefully you saw the earlier part of this video, uh, I was standing under a street light at night, and now I'm uh, finishing up this, this painting, and uh, uh, what I've done since you saw me last is added more details, and uh, I kind of punched up the color. Punched up is a term that just means to bring out the, uh, the, the chroma, or accentuate the uh, chroma, and chroma means the intensity. Sometimes I try to uh, mute the intensity, but this particular one, I. I use this uh, uh, kind of cerulean blue to indicate the, uh, the, uh, the sun that had set over here about an hour ago. Actually, it was kind of rainy that night, but I, I knew this was west, so I was kind of inventing a, uh, a sky on a, on a clear night. And this last thing that I'm doing is just uh, bringing out some of the uh, darks in these, um, this uh, island here. There's an island in the, in the middle here, and I'm just with a small um, brush, I'm adding some details to these uh, uh, evergreen trees here and uh, bringing out some of the, the, the contrast here is what I'm doing in various areas. Just a few little details here and there. To, and basically I'm just using uh, black and uh, burnt umber to do it. And I've already put a a varnish on this painting of um, liquid, and sometimes I use Utrecht um, uh, varnish too. It's very similar. I forget the name right now, but it's a Utrecht product that's very similar to a liquid, and it uh, gives a nice um, even sheen. Some certain colors like burnt umber and other colors kind of sink in and become matte in the uh, and the varnish will uh, um, even out the uh, tone here. Whoops. Just some, uh, a few more details in this other evergreen tree here. But 
But uh, part of the thing with plein air is just the suggestive quality of it. At least that's the way I work. And uh, and also at night, these night scenes, uh, to get some more paint here on my brush. Uh, the thing with uh, night scenes is um, the uh, softness of it and the uh, softness of edges. So some soft edges are okay. Okay, that's about all I wanted to show you to uh, to show you this uh, final stage of how a, a painting uh, transforms from the initial impression. And in this case, it was a little town in uh, northwest Scotland. So uh, these paintings of Ireland and Scotland will be at the gallery in Stranton, Pennsylvania. And you can see them down there at the Lower Craig Gallery. Or look at my uh, website, uh, briankeeler.com. Okay, great. Thanks for your attention.